is good you it's your boy Tom back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be talking about the new rush cards coming tomorrow via the agendas as well as the pack market an NBA 2K24. My team highlighted by Galaxy Opal Andrew Wiggins. So if we look back on the past like what Danny Granger was, Ois Reeves was, James Worthy really was. That's gonna be the Andrew Wiggins of this week. Now, I actually think Andrew Wiggins has a lot of potential to be really good at that shooting guard position. And you guys might be really Ty. Why? Well, when we look at Andrew Wiggins, we really haven't seen a great Wiggins card this year. 6-7 at the two. Maybe see a change in dribble style. His release is going to go, going to go to very quick, and we'll see what happens to the leaner. But the most important thing for me is he's six seven. He's going to be able to play defense. Obviously, attack the rim. See what they do with the leaner. See what they do with his release as well as dribble style. But I think he's got a ton of potential. Alongside Andrew Wiggins, you're also getting Pink Diamond, Ben Wallace, D Will. Now for those guys, I guess we'll see. I think Ben Wallace has a lot of potential. Depends whether 2K gives him a three ball or not. Sad part with everybody that is Pink Diamond or below. 2K is shown to not want to change six changes, uh, change releases yet. And so that's the bad side of Darren Williams' bet was. For John Starks and PJ Brown, I actually think both of them for Diamonds are going to be really good. Let's start with John Starks. 6'5 at the point guard position. His release, really solid. Pro Drift style, not great, but he does have the Pro 2 leaner as well. And again, 6'5, defensive point guard. Like, I feel like if you're just starting the game and are in need of some, uh, you know, really uh, budget type options, John Starks can be really good for that. Remember, there are six total agendas, so there's going to be some amethysts that do come out in this set as well uh, that probably are going to be an easier ground. But I think John Starks is going to be really good. And then when we look at P.J. Brown, he's 6'11", wide player, model player build. Obviously, he does have that uh, power forward eligibility. We'll have to see what P.J. Brown and John Starks do look like. Now, for me, how do we see what they are like? Well, last year, we really didn't see a decent P.J. Brown card. The year prior, we really didn't see a decent P.J. Brown card. So it's kind of hard for P.J. Brown. When we look at John Starks, I feel like last year we saw a decent John Starks. That one's really good. Uh, this one was a season three. John Starks was just a little bit better. But he's always got that three and D ability. That's what John Starks is kind of known for in 2K. And because he's 6'5", obviously does have a something to him. The big thing to know here with this rush set is, number one, it's a via the agendas and pack market. So the player market in 2K is still dead for now. Like there's nothing changing as far as that is concerned. The player market is still not existent, but at least this content quote unquote is going to be free. One thing I do want to see with this is it to not be as hard as last week. Like last week when we loaded up to get Danny Granger, it's like you have to play how many domination games? 15 domination games. That's an instant turnoff for everybody that's not grinding for LeBron James. Now, obviously, if you're grinding for LeBron James, it changes things slightly that little bit. But it's still, in my opinion, not worth the ultimate grind for, for a Danny Granger card who is really mid. Now, again, when you look at last week's drop, the Amis, the Diamonds, the Pink Diamonds, they weren't good either. And so I think that's the big problem here is we need good players at every tier. So even when the Amethysts come out tomorrow, we need some Amethysts that can go out there and compete and that are an easy grind. We need some Diamonds that are the same, some Pink, pink Diamonds that are good for their specific tier, and then an Opal card that is somewhat worth. That's what I wish ultimately we did see with these rush cards now i again i hope you're able to get andrew wiggins in five or six hours compared to you know the 10 plus hour grinds that we've seen for reeves as well as danny granger that's obviously my hope for tomorrow and again i do like what andrew wiggins can do because if we look at the shooting guard position right now and yes we've got some really solid shooting guards especially with the allen houston card go watch that gameplay uh and uh, that is on my channel i mean the card is absolutely fantastic but we look at the shooting guards obviously you got reeves you got harden but outside of those two guys, like you got Mono, he's not very good. Chris Middleton's okay. He's kind of mid though. Like again, Allen Houston is fantastic, but we don't have a lot of great budget shooting guards in my team. Like some of the best shooting guards to me are still Pink Diamond Kobe. And then obviously Pink Diamond Paul George. George. Obviously the new Allen Houston's good, but we need a good new shooting guard in my team. And I think Andrew Wiggins definitely has that potential. He gets his release on very quick, gets a decent dribble style. And again, he's 6'7", going to be able to play lanes, dunk on everybody. I think his potential is definitely off the charts. Darren Williams is going to stink. So don't grind tomorrow's challenge thinking, wow, Pink Diamond point guard Darren Williams. He has, no, he's going to stink. Ben Wallace again, see what that three ball is like tomorrow when I drop my worth it video and we'll go from there. 
Is this something that I'm personally gonna grind? Well, I don't know. It depends how long it is. That's the big thing for me because my my team right now, when you're looking at my my team, I've got I've got basically Allen Houston and Kobe Bryant at my shooting guards. And though I mean the Galaxy Open was really the only guy that could play on my main account. And does Andrew Wiggins play over them? Maybe. Again, we'll have to see uh, tomorrow what the card looks like with his release, with obviously the dribble style, the leaner, those types of things. But I mean, I, I think he has potential. Six seven frame, probably gonna defensively be one of the best on ball defenders in the entire game. Definitely think he has potential. I just wish the pink diamonds, diamonds, and Amis started to see some change. Like maybe a release on quick, maybe a better dribble style. Like for Darren Williams, do we realize he's literally going to be unusable come tomorrow? Like Darren Williams obviously hasn't had to, uh, pretty, uh, very many good cards, but he's got the Goga base or normal timing, normal leaner with pro dribble style. If you think this card tomorrow is going to come out here and somehow play with those six, you have lost your mind. And that's me being respectful. You have absolutely lost your mind if you think that Darren Williams is going to come on my court and compete. I'm sorry, but that's just the facts of the situation. That card is not ever going to play for me or even, you know, go out there and compete for me. So that's the only thing. John Starks, PJ Brown, I definitely think they have potential. Even Ben Wallace. If he gets a three ball, has potential. But a lot of these cards in these sets are not very good. Even if we go to last week's rush drop, like Granger is fine. AI Parsons stunk. Tony Allen, Tyreek Evans stunk. And that's just as important as the Galaxy Opal. We need good cards as we go up the ranks. A a MCW, Michael Carter-Williams is fine. But the rest of those cards really just were not that great in my opinion. Another Timberwolves card, Andrew Wiggins. Galaxy Opal is the Timberwolves themed card. That gets me a little bit excited. 98 overall. I just hope he lives up to the hype. I really do. Because, I mean, let's say they give him his release on very quick Pro 2 Leaner and let's say the uh, D-Book Dribble Style, something like that. You might be looking at your best shooting guard in the game that is not hidden behind gambling. So, I mean, the potential for Andrew Wiggins definitely is there. We'll see what 2K obviously decides to do with him and that card. But it is something that I am looking forward to heading in to tomorrow's rush drop. Again, I wish there was some use to the player market. I wish 2K did something just to, I don't know, use it. Again, they don't have to make it every single drop, but like we haven't seen a good player market card in how long? Like Franz Wagner's been it and that, that, that's really it. Do not open packs for these cards either. It's absolutely not worth your time, not worth your MT or money. That's where I stand on things. Let me know your thoughts on this drop heading into tomorrow. Is it something you guys are excited about or not? Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.